a very impressive winner in Christchurch over 3,000 metres. Now tonight running the 800 metres in lane number one is Paul van der Grift from the USA. And it's a very good lineup as well for the 2ZB men's 800 metres with Martin Johns, the fastest New Zealander in 1992, running in lane number two. Michael Kelber, who performed so well in Christchurch, first Kiwi home, he's in lane number three. And alongside of him, Simon Kennedy Mark and Mark Tonks, two very promising young runners as well. Also in the lineup there is uh, Michael Heinmarsh from Auckland and Jack O'Connor from Waikato. So there is a big field that you see in the outer lanes. The athletes are doubling up per lane. And the fastest four get the privilege of a lane all to themselves down on the inside. Van der Griff from the USA, Martin Johns in two, Michael Kelber from Waikato in three. Got close to his personal best in Christchurch. On your mark. And in lane number four, Simon Kennedy, a 19-year-old from Otago. Two laps of the track here at Newtown Park Stadium, and if the wind was a decided advantage to the sprinters, it's certainly not the case in the middle distance runners. For them, they strike a headwind down the back straight, so it's a disruptive pattern, the wind, in races like this, John Davies. And Simon Kennedy's out setting the pace. He was the fastest runner coming into the track series over 800 metres this year, but Michael Calver, Jack O'Connor and, and Tonks, the big man, 131 you see in the middle there, all ran close to 150 last Saturday. But Van der Grift is uh, at the back of the field, but don't be uh, fooled by that. He got a little trip there, but he has a best time of 147.6. He won the 3,000 metres the other day, Brendan. He's a real smart runner over any distance. Yes, it was a very good time. Seven minutes, 52 seconds for the 3,000. But how much speed has he got over the two laps? And Simon Kennedy, shades of Philbert Bay here. He's got 20 metres on them at the start-finish line. Martin Johns was in second place. And it's very tight there. A lot of shoving and elbowing going on at the start finish line as they settle in for the last 400 meters of this men's 800. now that's royce wilkie that's gone to the lead uh, his father's one of the uh, top promoters here in in wellington at the Huff valley club that's the uniform he's running in michael calver who won on uh, saturday in christchurch is taking up the chase and still no move from van der Grift. he's right at the back of the field with 200 meters to go now he starts to sweep wide there you can see that the tall figure look at him he's just sweeping past this entire field what a great move friend and he caught everybody by surprise he's tucked in there got all the shelter the real smart head on this man van der Grift. there he is as he leads the field into the home straight chasing them all away is mark tonks in second place Kelber coming down the outside, the two Kiwis chasing the American. He's not the most elegant of runner, and he's struggling a bit now, but he's got enough determination to hold a fast finishing Kelber. It's America first, New Zealand second and third. Victory to Paul Vandergriff. He's another that's made it two wins from two starts in the smoke-free track series for 1993. Well, two bunches of the Interflora fouls for Van der Grift, and what a smart run it was. But look at him now. He's full of a, he's full of all sorts of lactic acid at the moment and struggling, but he's a gritty, determined runner. Michael Calver, who's a very fast 400-meter runner, finishing strongly in the outside, and Mark, T Mark Tonks, who ran so well, finishing again third here on Wednesday night. But a great run from Van der Grift, number 127. But 131, the tall man, Mark Tonks, who finishes third. Watch out for him in the future. He's a very smart runner. 2ZB men's 800 metres with a slower winning time tonight than in Christchurch. Understandable in these conditions. Victory going to Vandergrift with Michael Kelver second and his colleague from the Waikato, Mark Tonks, taking third place.